In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for the gold here, the Au in NaAuCn2. This is sodium dicyanoaurate. Okay, to do this, we first need to realize there's no negative or positive after the compound here. So it's going to be a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. We know that sodium, that'll have a plus one oxidation number. And then the gold, we don't know that. So we're going to call that X. But we run into a bit of a problem because carbon and nitrogen, and we don't have those in our rules here. So the key to solving this is recognizing the CN here. This is the cyanide ion. The whole thing, the whole cyanide ion, has an ionic charge of 1 minus. Because of that, because it's this ion here, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So the oxidation numbers, all of these, they're going to add up to minus 1. Now we could set an equation up because we know that all of this is going to equal zero. We could just say one plus the gold, that's X, two times minus one, that's minus two, that equals zero. X minus one equals zero. And then X, that equals a plus one. So the oxidation number on the gold here in this sodium dicyanoaurate, that is plus one. If we looked at the oxidation numbers for the entire compound, we'd have two times the minus one, that's minus two, plus one, plus one, gives us zero, it's a neutral compound. For the cyanide ion, if you need help finding the oxidations for the carbon and the nitrogen in the cyanide ion, there's a link in the description how to do that. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for NaAuCn2, sodium dicyanoaurate. Thanks for watching.